Hey, yo, what's up? This is, this is the Disciple Marshall Occurrence Rain back up in this. This message is going to be about what happens in real time matters more than any thoughts that cross your mind. What happens in real time matters more than any thoughts that cross your mind. What happens in actual real time matters more than any thoughts that cross your mind. Okay. And let me let me let me go ahead and set Christian straight straight from the beginning because y'all like to quote the scripture that says as as so as a man thinketh, so is he. Okay. With that scripture being with that being said, understand, don't be simple in thinking. Don't be ironically, don't be simple in thinking. Okay. Did there are certain types of thoughts. You have fleeting thoughts, thoughts that come from the devil, telepathy, psychic power, neurological, possible neurological weapons, and foundational thought patterns that every person thinks. When the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he, it's talking about the foundational thoughts that you have it's talking about the thought the foundational thought patterns that you maintain that's what it's talking about because okay so if you're walking down the street and you just have a fleeting thought no matter not defining where it comes from just a fleeting thought of killing your enemies of killing someone that offended you, does that automatically make you, so is he a killer? Does that make you actually a killer? You have a fleeting thought of someone that, let's say, for instance, killed one of your, 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 your co-workers or something like that, and you wanted to get even. Having a fleeting thought of saying, oh, I want to go get kill that person, is that, does that define you? Does that then define you? No, it doesn't define you. That's a, that's a fleeting thought that came from you, whether it was from the enemy or from your, or, or a thought that passed through your mind, through, through different emotions. You could have been self-conscious of that, of that, of, of the image of hurting that person. And however it came, you, it, it was a fleeting thought. It was not the overall patterns of how you think. It was You didn't go around thinking about doing that. So therefore, how can that define you? God is not saying that. The, Lord, the, the Bible is saying that your overall thought patterns that come and is your foundation for uh, in, in how you think whether it be maintaining purity, if they, if you're maintaining purity in your mind and that's the way you think, you nobody can take that from you. That's who you are. No matter what fleeting thoughts or uh, telepathic thoughts they may send, psychic power thoughts they may send, of you to be impure in your thoughts, that is not who is what defines you through your actions. It's all about what you do in real time. Anybody would tell you that. So if so as, as when 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 I hear these preachers and I hear Christians say they make these messages that say, as a man thinking, so is he. And they're they're basically saying, and a lot of time it almost sounds like they're saying fleeting thoughts is defining a person. For people that I I've heard, it's all to me it came off as the insinuation is that if it crossed your mind, that's who you are. No, 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 no. And, and God judges according to the thoughts, but God knows even the brain is not perfect. See, I know this. This is why I don't get caught up in the stuff that the telepathy and the psychological wars that go on. It doesn't bother me because I know that I know what my, my overall foundational thought patterns are. I know what my overall thought patterns are. Um, how they move. That's how, when you know yourself, then you have no problem because you know, okay, where did that come from? Okay, then that must not be, that's not you. 
because your overall thought patterns is are the opposites. So how is that you? See, in a world like this, with all this, this technology and all the things that's going on, if you don't know how you think, you will be literally hacked mentally and you'll be sitting around thinking that you're a monster, a pedophile or something. Because they'll try to place certain images of children or certain or telepathic or telepath telepaths will send certain words and key words and things. And you'll be sitting around thinking you're a pedophile if you don't know your own thought patterns. And you'll be listening to a Christian message message talking about and it'll be saying, oh, as a man thinking, so is he. You'll be thinking, oh, my God, I must be a pedophile. Look at the thoughts that's crossing my mind. That's how, no, mm -mm. there's that, that your foundational thoughts, the way your thoughts move and your corresponding actions contradict that. I'm just letting you know, because in this day and time, it, it, it matters literally what happens in real time when you have psychics, witches and warlocks, um, neurological weapons. When you have all that going on, you, it, God is going to hold you responsible for what you actually think in real time. You see what I'm saying? All that psychological stuff is nothing. If, if it isn't happening in real time, then there is no crime. Okay? That's how you get free from that. There is no crime. There is nothing happening in real time. You win. And guess what? The people that's playing around you, they lose for spiritual trespassing and mind rape. That's what that is. That's mind rape. That's a type of mind rape. Your mind belongs to you. So if someone is invading that, that's a form of mind rape, brain rape, which God will hold him responsible for that. You know what I'm saying? It's all about knowing your yourself, first of all. That's how you get a hold of that. You know where your mind and heart stands. You know what you will and will not do, okay? At the end of the day, it's all about what you do. Your sins are actions, okay? When it comes to thoughts, like I said, it's not one fold. Thoughts are not one fold. If any, even a scientist would tell you that. There are not, thoughts are not one fold. You have fleeting thoughts. You have thoughts that comes from spiritually. I can only talk to spiritual people when I'm concerning this. You have thoughts that come from uh, principalities, demonic principalities, demonic spirits. Um, you also have thoughts that come that are insinuated by telepaths, witches, and warlocks. You have actual thoughts also that are formed from images of, of cer certain images that are put before you to therefore make you have a, a, a performing thought. So to put an image of, okay, if, if they're accusing you of being a pedophile, then they'll put an image of a child in front of you over and over again to therefore make you self-conscious so that you will feel on eggshells and like you're a pedophile. See, I've mastered their wars. I've mastered the psychological wars. So the first thing in psychological war to understand is what happens in real time is all that really matters. You're never going to be perfect. You're ne you know who you are, and what you are is what you do. Nobody can sit here and say there are all these things and just have thoughts of it. You can't say, oh, I'm just the greatest singer in the world. I'm the greatest this in the world. I'm the greatest dance in the world and think these thoughts and it, and don't go dance. How's that? Who, who, who would do that? You, In order for you to be a dancer, you would have to be dancing. Not think about dancing. Not dancing in your mind. That's not a dancer. That is a person that's thinking of being a dancer. So you're not defined by sitting up thinking something. You're, you're defined by actually performing the things that define that identity. So you can't be a pedophile in your mind. 
you have to actually go out and and actually do something in real time or you have to you know you have to engage literally literally a child to be a considered a, a pedophile and also a court also by law you know um you have to be you, you know engaging a child okay so that that makes you that would make you and, you, and ultimately you would have to have a, a full thought pat thought patterns constant thought patterns of specifically sexual desire to define your mind as a person that is a sex predator if you don't have thoughts that you, of a child sexually and, and that turn and, and you're not aroused by that you're not a, a sex predator you can't be a sex predator if it does not arouse you and, des- and bring any desire to your mind. See, what happens is in this country, in this world, people try to intentionally, they try to build and make people pedophiles, um, all kind of other images. And you have to be aware and, and crazy also, mentally sick. They'll throw all kind of different things around you and test your mind and say, see, you're crazy. See how you just didn't pronounce that word right? You're crazy. See how your mind, see how you went over there and you walked and you did that? See how you was walking? See how you was drifting in your mind in the store? You're crazy. And your mind is not perfect. Your mind is never going to be perfect. And in the actual in the actuality is in the in the actuality of the situation is it's all about what actually happens in real time. Okay? I can sit here and think about, you know, going and blowing up a, a blowing up a fish restaurant. But if I but if I sit in this room and just think about blowing up this fish restaurant without actually having corresponding action then I would never then then I would not be defined as a, a fish restaurant bomber. I wouldn't make the news as being a fish restaurant bomber. You see what I'm saying? So you can't let people play with your mind in this country because I mean it really doesn't work with some well, somebody like me, you know, I've been all over. I've been in the streets and all the different type of situations. That kind of stuff would never work with me because I'm just too aware of I've pressed my mind to survive. I press my mind to um, adapt to situations. And when you when you are using your mind and when you are, are aware of your mind and how to handle it, when you are aware of how to handle your mind, then you know, then, then they, that psychological war stuff can't work on you. See, what, what in our society, what I've seen is, and I have to be honest, a lot of racist white Americans are very surprised that um, African Americans are, are that smart, intelligent. It's like, ooh, it's this form of racism. Ooh, that, ooh, how do you know that? Ooh, he's the greatest. Ooh. No, I have just elevated in my spirituality in a way that you chose not to do. Your country chose to be atheists. Your country chose to not believe in God. I chose to elevate, and I just soared, and I took off, and I became something greater than, than the average person in America. Now you're looking at me wanted me to 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 for to feed you <laughs> like a little baby bird you know i can't feed you i've been on this journey way too long i've been on this journey way too long and for you to go down the same journey as and and be in and and have what i have would take take years that's why when you have a person that has is has accelerated they automatically are the leader. That person is automatically the leader because there's no way that the rest of the people could accelerate far as time to become what that person is. So what do you do? 
that person has to be the leader. You, you don't have enough time to become like me. You don't have enough time. And the climate of the world has become so evil that the pressing against you trying to become like I am it will discourage you and you won't even be able to do it because, because Satan's power is more destructive than the times that I was doing it. See, I was, I was building on being like this years ago, decades ago. So how are you going to do this in a couple of matter of hours and months? It's impossible. So I'm automatically the leader in a situation like that. Anyway, when it comes to um, thoughts, you know, what the first thing is, is first of all, feed what you feed your mind. That's the first thing you got to learn. What you feed your mind. That's why your enemies will try to force feed your mind. Things that they want you so that they can form a certain kind of way of thinking in your mind. But if you f feed your mind more than they try to feed it, then you will form the proper healthy thought patterns. But if you don't feed your mind anything, then what happens is you're ab more able to be hacked mentally. You know what I mean? But if you're constantly feeding your mind positive things, then your mind is always on positivity. If you're feeding your things, your mind things of God, then your mind is on the things of God. Therefore, those things uh, radiate, if you will, within your mind. You know what I'm saying? And being it spiritual, it takes on um, an, an effect that cannot be even scientifically explained. But um, don't let people beat you up. Don't beat yourself up. I mean, you are human. And if, 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 if any human being is, is down here saying, well, I've always thought perfect thoughts. You are a liar. You are a hell bound liar. To sit up and say, you've always thought perfect thoughts. Who do you think you're fooling? See, the beautiful thing about being knowing oneself, when you have mastered yourself, you have literally mastered everyone else. Because they are like you. Hello. They're like you. They're humans. So if you master yourself, then you've basically mastered humanity. And the higher in mastery you go up, the higher of mastery you have over your counterparts, over knowing your counterparts. That's what I want to say. So the higher you go up in mastery is the in, in, in knowing your mind and knowing yourself and knowing your soul and knowing yourself in and out, the higher you go up in that is the higher in mastery you understand humanity, period. And, yeah, also, the higher in mastery you go up, in knowing one's mind, knowing one's soul, knowing one's heart, you also are able to master your enemies. Because you know what they're throwing, you know what they're doing because you know yourself and you know and therefore you know human makeup. So therefore you can dis, you can spot and detect things that doesn't line up with healthy makeup. that doesn't line up with good, healthy human makeup. You can line that up. How is it that you can tell how is it that people can even look at people's body language and tell what's going on? Because they know they learned human science. But then this can work against people that follow human science because even that can be mastered. And then now you have people that are acting. They know the body language to throw out to make you feel that they're cool. They know how to put their foot into you to make you feel like I'm into you. Because your foot naturally 
goes and points towards a person when you're engaging them in conversation, it, it is it is it, your foot goes and point towards them because you, and it's a body language that's letting you know it's a it's a, it's a it's a type of body language that's letting you letting them know that you're interested in them. So you can have someone that reverse psych that 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 is uh that takes that and be and uses it for evil. They put their foot out and they don't have any intentions of engaging that person in conversation. So you can't be totally uh you can't use human psychology, whole human science as a complete compass of defining an individual because that person can also know human science and psychology and give you all the right answers. They can give you all the right answers and now you're fooled. So see how knowing is not also the greatest level because if you in this case knowing someone can know also and can make and give you all the things that they that you both know that are good and you're sitting up saying okay they're giving me all the right signals they give me all the right signals because you both you both know human science and human psychology and they're sitting up manipulating you, and because they're throwing out all the right signals, you're taking it. You're, you're losing. So what can you do in that case? What can you do in that case? There's a higher level of elevation that comes above it all, that says, "Okay, no. That's beyond FBI information. That's beyond CIA intelligence." That's beyond those type of entities that watch body language, watch movements. There's a higher level above that. Because, like I said, you have people that now they can master all those psychologies and you're sitting up there fooled. You're up there fooled thinking, oh, this person is this and that and the third. How, how, answer this question. Everybody feels they're competent in human science and human psychology. Then why do people get played and fooled all the time, all their life? Why do you why do you keep hitting brick walls with humanity? If everybody's competent in mind, you just know people. You just know when you smell a rat. You just know how do you get keep getting played? Because you have not elevated and they're throwing out all the right signals just for you. <laughs> they're throwing out all the right signals. Everything perfect. And you're totally deceived. They put them, they got the perfect behavior, they have the perfect attitude, and you're totally deceived perfectly. I'm just saying. So what can one do in that case? What does one do to go to 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 overcome? You have to come above the human elements. Now you're coming into the way that God sees things. When you come into the word of God, now you're coming above all human haze, all the human clouds. You're going way up. And now God is showing you how it is. God is showing you, you need God thoughts. You need God thoughts in order to really see things for what they are and see people for who they are. You need God's thought patterns. You need God's movements to come into your mind, his actions, his ways, his thoughts. You need that in order to come above humans in order to see who they really are and what they really doing. Because they can throw all these politicians, all these people in the community, they can throw you all the right energies. And guess what? It's all a lie. Soon as you come around and they're trying to deceive you, what is the first thing they do? Act normal. Giving you all the right signals. Giving you all the right psychologically, psychology, human, human speaking, humanly speaking. Human-wise, they're giving you all the right psychology, 
but it's all a lie. So you can't, that's why I tell people, don't try to read people because people will give you a book to read. Boom. If you try to read a person, then they can, they can give you a whole book. Oh, I'll be a good person. Now read that book, but they're really not a good person. But because you tried to read them, you opened your mind up to reading them. They just gave you a book to read. The best rule in that case is to allow a person to be who they are. And whoever they are, they can't lie. If you if you crossed me, if you did crazy stuff, if you did, hey, I didn't I didn't try to read you. You you did what you did. So if I define you by that, I define you by what come out of your mouth. I def I let I allowed you to be totally who you are. I didn't test you. I didn't do any of that. I allowed you to be totally who you are. And, 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 and you and if you argue with me, then you're tripping. You're crazy. You're crazy for arguing with me because I'm I'm just only judged you based on what you presented to me. I didn't try to read you. I let you be totally who you were. And that's the truth. So instead of reading someone, let them totally be who they are. Don't give them any tests because some people will put up a guard as soon as you start testing them, as soon as they know you're testing them. So now you never get the truth. So the best method is to let a person be who they are. Because once you start using all kinds of psychology and stuff, it's over. You're never going to get a real reading because that person could be self-conscious or any other thing and then, or anything or just, just get anxiety or get fearful and you never get a pro proper reading. But it's all about what you do in real time. That's 